Hello everyone and welcome back to Screen Trends and in today's brand new video we will be talking about why Bar Rescue constantly brings in angry fans. Since the show's premiere in 2011, viewers debated whether the show's producers and editors have spiced things up for entertainment value. If you've been watching Bar Rescue all these years, then you'll probably know John meets some pretty out there folks who have some major issues, not only with their bars, might I add, but their personal, personal lives, and even more. Even John himself is portrayed as a super blunt guy, and he's also the type of guy who isn't afraid of confronting anyone. This sometimes results in fights and very heated arguments. So this brings up the point on why Bar Rescue brings in angry fans. Well, it's because of the fakery that goes on in the show and many more reasons that we will put into detail in this video. It's true that most reality TV shows offer guidance, if not very, very heavy guidance when filming. Editors will probably cut the boring parts and emphasize on exciting moments even though they may have been out of context. In the case of Bar Rescue, it's definitely possible some of the show is even scripted. In 2014, a guest on the show says he was told to flirt with John's wife and then was physically attacked by John. According to the deadline, the guest sustained injuries that he had to go to the hospital for and he ended up filing a lawsuit against the production company. That's a big yikes for me, guys. Another example is in the 2016 episode that features Nina Wyatt, Schaffer's Bar, and Grill. She claimed that she was fed lines that didn't exactly align with the true story. The new owner of the bar, however, Ryan Burke, stated, During my first interview, I was asked how much money we were losing each month. My exact words to the producer were, What would you like me to say? The producer's response was, For our story, you are losing $10,000 a month and you're losing your house and closing down next month. All of which is not true. The owner of Pirate's Tavern also said it was basically coerced and staged to be an opening act for a re-rescue. I was told to bring in several changes of clothes to make it appear that filming covered several days of recording. As usual, they brought in a bunch of extras to fill the house and we were told what they were told to say and whom to speak with. Even a Redditor who claimed they were familiar with one of the bars featured on the show wrote, Having known a bar that went through the show process, it is a largely fake thing in the sense. The bar and the surroundings are largely not what the show portrays them as. There have also been several blog posts that have described their accounts with this, stating that Bar Rescue's portrayal is totally inaccurate and at times even fabricated. John Taffer nor the network have confirmed or denied that Bar Rescue is actually scripted. Another thing was a mistake made by John Taffer in an interview that made his reputation look quite bad together with Bar Rescue. So just what did Taffer screw up so badly? Well, it's hard to figure out where to start with this one. An interview about drinking tips and bar etiquette is so rife with inaccuracies, questionable advice, and shaky cocktail knowledge that you could actually quibble with almost every answer he gave. And true to some form, critics online have just done that. John Taffer specifically said that he is not sure if there's a definition of one that gets you angry or not, but tequila is inherent made from mezcal, which is mescaline, which is a drug that's what it's made from. But that isn't true at all, and the question has since been removed from the post and a correction was added. People were calling John unprofessional and saying that he shouldn't continue with Bar Rescue if he doesn't even know the simplest facts about bars. I mean, that seems like a little bit of an obvious thing to me. He made a mistake, and the truth is, is that tequila is, yes, a type of mezcal, because spirits made out of agave are technically called mezcal. However, agave is actually a member of the lily family, whereas mescaline comes from a cactus. I have gotten drunk on many of the average agave spirit, and while it makes me think the greatest type of drunk that I ever can be, it does not and will not make you hallucinate. Granted, most people don't know the admittedly complex ins and outs of what goes on into producing spirits, never mind the still relatively unfamiliar mezcal. But John should know what is right and wrong when it comes to bars and drinks, and this simple mistake has messed up his entire reputation forever. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, we really do appreciate it, and please don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below, and we will see you all in the next video. Have a good one, and bye bye